All right, here we go. One more for good luck. All right, that's how we sync it up. Um, hello, everybody. Um, we're doing something a little different today, and it's been kind of, um, not kind of, it's been requested several times that I uh, make a little bit of kind of instructional content on my video channel. And um, that's what I'm going to do today. So today I'm gonna, I decided to start with a song instruction that was requested by a user um, entitled Balls McGee. And uh, he requested that I do a little uh, tutorial on Just Like a Bird Without a Feather by R.L. Burnside. So that's where we're going to start today. So a little bit about R.L. Burnside before we start. He comes from the northern Mississippi Hill Country, which also happens to be a hilly region of northern Mississippi. But in that enclave, they're kind of developed this very unique, distinctive um, subgenre of the blues, one might say. And it kind of first gained not notoriety in the early to mid-90s. Um, and it's very, very much based on kind of rhythmic droning and an, an interesting strumming technique that um, one would call the claw hammer. I don't, know how, I don't know who coined that phrase, claw hammer. I don't think if you asked them, you know, what style of guitar did you play? I don't know if they said claw hammer or where that came from, but that's how we describe it nowadays. And basically, it's kind of a rhythmic strumming technique that you're going to be, you know, variating between your thumb and your index finger. And we're going to go over that in a kind of a separate portion to the video and everything else. So anyway, from there, um, let's jump in. I'm going to play this one more time. So from there, let's jump in. I'm going to do one turnaround and then we'll start breaking it down. And I'll, I'll put the uh, the timestamps in the video if you want to, you know, jump to certain areas. I'll try to chop it up in a nice, neat and tidy. I'll try to chop it up in a neat and tidy way. Anyway, here we go. You're like a bird without a feather, huh? -huh. You know I'm lost without your love. We are just like a bird without a feather, huh? -huh. You know I'm lost without your love. You know I need your love. Just like the angels need heaven above. So we're going to start with the intro and uh, take it piece by piece until we have uh, enough to put together a whole turnaround on this song. So starting with the intro, I'm going to play it for you and then we're going to break it down a little slowly. All right. So on this first, uh, this first lick, we're basically going to be um, using three strings here. Um, this whole thing is going to be played on the E, the E string, the A string, and the D string. And um, I'm going to assume that you know what I'm talking about here. Um, so let's start with a hammer-on of the A string. That's uh, your second string down, hammer-on, your second fret. I'm sorry, I, I would... Okay, yeah, that's right. So we're going to do second fret here. That's where your hammer on is going to be. Basically, you're strumming the A and then hammer on to the uh, second fret. And I'm using a different finger just so you can see what I'm doing. Second fret. That's what you want to do, but I would use your second finger, your middle finger here. And then after that hammer on, you're going to strike the open D string. That's your third, third third string down. So hammer on and then open D string, which is uh, three notes in, t in, in, in total, which is going to sound like. Let's keep doing that. And again, my first finger, just so you could see what I'm doing. Second fret, A string. 
hammer on and then open string right underneath the D, open D. So you're going to repeat that twice. Then what's going to come after that is a, a bend on the second fret of the G string. You're going to bend that up and then down. Bend it up and down. Then open. Open G. Back to D string, second fret. So let's start that over one more time. Again, this is full speed. Okay, second fret, G string. First, bend it up and then bend it down. Open, G. And then to the D string, second fret. Again, bend the G second fret up, back down, take your finger off to open, and then D string second fret. Okay, um, now I might insert this uh, here that if you're not used to uh, bending strings, especially on the acoustic guitar, I understand that could be a little bit uh, difficult, even, even more so, very rigid, heavy strings. Now, if this is something that you don't feel comfortable doing yet, there is a different variation we could do on that until you uh, get your, your bending up to snuff. But you should get your bending up to snuff because it's very important, especially if you're, if you're like uh, a fan of the blues style. You need to be able to bend. It's just something, you know, it's like breathing. You just need to be able to bend. So, but, however, I understand that um, at the moment you need something um, a little bit easier to kind of uh, fulfill the desire to play this particular look here. And for that, we're going to do a kind of hammer-on pull-off, because basically what you're doing by bending, you're just, you know, going up to the next note fluidly. And um, what we can do is do a hammer-on pull-off, which is, you know, not going to be a fluid uh, motion between the two notes a motion nonetheless. So let's try that different. So that's going to be hammer on from second fret to the third fret. And we're still in the G string here. And then back down, back off. So hammer on from second to third and then back. Connecting it with the what comes after. Hammer on, pull off, then open again, and then second fret D. So full speed that's gonna sound like this. So in context for with the first three notes, let's go back to that first of all. Don't forget that hammer on second fret of the A string and then open D after. That's three notes in total. That's the first part. And you're going to repeat that. Oh, and I just added the, the next part there. But you weren't, weren't ready for that just yet. I don't know if you were or you weren't, but I'm going to assume I'm going to start that again. So. The first three notes, we're going to repeat twice. And then I'm going to do the bend this time. And then at the end of that, you're going to finish that phrase with just plucking the low E string open. So the whole thing, again. So I'm going to try it with the hammer-on pull-off technique for those of us who are not comfortable doing the bending just yet. 
and that'll sound like this. Okay. Now, I'm going to assume that we're good there thus far, and I'm going to um, play the, fir the intro at full speed. Let me go back for a second, because after the low E, I, I like to pluck the high E as well afterwards. And um, you're going to have to forgive me because a lot, oftentimes I never play it the same way twice. And um, I'm kind of just, I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, give you like an exact formula and like play exactly what I'm doing. But I hope to give you enough tools that you can kind of uh, variate your own, you know, style. Because I think that's what this is all about. But to go over the intro one more time. And then, okay, at the end of that intro, I'm just going to do a E7 chord and kind of hammer on your index finger. So before we go any further, I'm going to talk a little bit about my right hand here. And I'm going to be trying to, my best to use kind of a uh, finger style, claw hammer, rhythmic uh, hill country style, just to show you how, what that's like. However, if you're, if you're just using a pick or something like that, I'm going to try my best to... Uh, help visualize what that would look like as well. So I'm gonna play the intro uh, two different ways. One way, kind of using my index finger as a pick, and then uh, then using a little bit of uh, the claw hammer technique. So with a pick. Okay, a little bit claw hammer. Okay, so um, again, not all of this is just simply about playing the notes. There's so many kind of little intricacies with, you know, intonation and, and just general little things that you do with your hand to try to, you know, finesse the sound, so to speak. Like whether you're using picking, you're probably going to want to throw a little palm muting in there if you know um, how that works. Just um, sometimes you want to deaden certain notes and bring out others. And you're, you're going to kind of do that by placing your palm on the strings. As you can hear. But uh, again, I don't want to go too much into that right now. If you don't know um, what I'm talking about, just completely dis disregard it. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll do another video on that another time. But anyway, let's go on to the next part. So intro one more time into the kind of the meat of the song. So before we get into the, the verse itself, so before we get into the first verse, we're going to uh, pluck the high E string and then uh, do a, a, an E7 chord, which we're going to hammer on the index finger portion. I'm going to put, um, I think, I'll try to find, uh, yeah, little chord charts that I'll, that I'll stick up here in the lesson too. That'll be fun. And then um, basically, yeah, if we're going to do the E7, hammer on the index finger to the first fret G string. Do a little hammer on that. So that's what's gonna sound is like. So high E, hammer on E7, back to high E, low E. So that's kind of a little rhythmic phrase. So again, I'm gonna tell that on to the uh, the rest of the introduction. Okay, one more time on that last part. One more time again. Nope. 
Okay, so when he's this is the part where he's going to start singing. We're going to really dig into the first note here, which is going to be um, um, sorry, it's going to be a G, which is I'm going to use my middle finger on the third fret E string, and I'm going to really kind of try to snap that hit that one hard, dig into it, and even bend it up a little bit if you can. And then from there, we're going to hit in kind of a, an A, almost open power chord thing. Almost like Led Zeppelin's rock and roll. And then we're going to do one little thing as a kind of a cherry on the top of this Sunday. And then that's going to be, we're going to hit a high G note. We're going to use your, sorry, your ring finger on the high E third fret at the end of that. So we're going to do low E third fret, A open power chord, and then ring finger high um, G note on the E string third fret. And you can kind of hit the whole chord there. And then kind of a palm muted, um, basically take the whole chord off and just kind of mute the strings with your hand and then just do a kind of strumming uh, pattern. Okay, one more time, a little bit slower. A little faster. more time okay this time slower and I'll try to visualize with a pick okay so one more time, just to get monotonous on this, real monotonous. Dig into that first note, which is third fret, G, uh, E string. Open A power chord. And then you're gonna add the uh, the seventh to that, which is open, um, sorry, not opening, third fret E string on the high. And play that, just kind of play that whole thing. And then again, dampen and just kind of one strum, one hit. So that little phrase there, that's going to be your four chord in the blues progression. And then from there, we're going to go back to the one. And we're going to learn a little phrase to uh, bridge the four chord back to the one chord. So let's uh, start from where we were. So this is what I'm doing here. One more time, full speed, then we're, we're gonna break it down. Okay, so from here, basically, start with your uh, index finger, and we're gonna do um, third fret on the B string, which is right here, B string, third fret, B string, third fret, and we're going to do some hammer-ons from the 3rd fret to the 5th fret on the same string. That's the B string, 3rd, 3 to 5, basically. And uh, what you're going to do is, but we're going to try to hit three um, strings at the same time here. If we can, um, your ring finger is going to be resting on the high E. You want your middle finger resting on the B string. And then you want your thumb on the low A. And then when you hammer-on, you're gonna to wanna to try to hit all these strings at once. One more time. Once again, low A, and then middle finger on B string, and then your ring finger on the high um, A string. Sorry, high E string. And then hammer on 
you have your index finger on the third fret of the B string, and you're going to hammer on from the third third fret to the fifth fret of the B string. So you're going to hammer on twice, and then back. Try that that much again. One more time. One more time. Okay, now from here, it's going to be perhaps a little tricky. Here, um, right in that same finger, take my middle finger, and that's going to go down one string to the G string. And I'm going to be fretting the uh, fourth fret from there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pluck the, that, that note there, and I'm going to slide down from the fourth fret to the second fret. So that's going to be... And that's you know that's easily accessible from this figure that you're doing here, with um, the third to fifth hanger. Uh, sorry, the third to fifth hammer on. So let's try that much. And then right, you have that note right there on your middle finger, four to uh, second, slide down. slower a little slower then from there open open G so slide down four to two and then open on the same string G string one more time time and then ending on the second fret of the D string and that'll be the end of that little phrase there so I'm gonna play it full speed and then do it a bunch of times slowly again And uh, yeah, I always kind of after every phrase almost I always hit the low E string afterwards and um, it's not and terribly important, but um, if you want to do it, be, by all means, do it. So, all right. I'm going to try that with the uh, the four chord beforehand. Trying to do a lesson here, my God. Sorry. Um, sorry, from the four chord again. So you're going to do the, uh, the kind of strumming of the open A power chord three times, and then kind of, then the phrase will kind of be the fourth uh, part of that section. So when you go back to the one chord, um, this is the easy part now. Well, not the easy part, but this is nice because this is the part we already learned. And you're going to re repeat the phrase from the introduction. So if we go back and remember the introduction, I hope you do. So from the four to the phrase, back into the uh, one chord, which is the same um, phrase from the introduction. seven chord
Okay. Now let's try that whole thing up to where we just left off from the beginning. From there, you go into the second verse, which again, you're just repeating the uh, the four chord. So basically, the whole thing I just showed you, you're basically going to repeat over. So I'm going to sing it this time again, just so you kind of know where it, where all this is falling within the song. Like a bird without a feather, huh? You know I'm lost without your love. Repeat. Just like a bird without a feather, huh? You know I'm lost without your love. Okay. So from here, um, to complete the first turnaround, we're going to have to go to the five chord now. So we're going to take B7 figure. And uh, what I would do is, I would, all right, yeah, hit the B7. And then take off your pinky, open um, E. And then what I'm going to do is put that pinky um, onto the third fret B string and kind of bend that up and then open. So, I'm going to try to play that little lick within the uh, B7 chord voicing. And, and again, the, the claw hammer part is coming in with kind of the, the rhythmic uh, strumming I'm doing with my right hand, if you see. Just think of it kind of like... B7, All right, turn this way actually, it'd be easier to see. Open, third um, fret B string, bend up, open. So the rhythm I'm doing with my right hand there, just so you can kind of get a, a good feel, I'm just going to do a little bit of the right hand and just... It's like down, 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 up. Down, 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 up. Down, 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 up. Again, and like kind of motion down with the thumb like this. And then kind of like up, almost in a kind of a raking style of the strings. Down with your thumb, up with your index finger. I'm doing this kind of super pronounced right now, just to kind of see what the general thing is. But And don't be, don't be afraid if it's messy, because this, again, this is a messy style. And it's, it's not supposed to sound clean and pristine. I mean, you'll get the hang of it. You can certainly uh, get the point where the rhythm sounds a little bit um, tighter. But again, you don't have to worry about the sounding super clean. Um. Again, figure uh, on the on the five one more time. Your B seven chord, um, high note, which is the second fret on the E string, 
then open, take that off, and play the open E. Now you're going to put that pinky on the third fret of the B string and push it, and uh, sorry, bend it up. <coughs> if you don't, and again, again, if you can't bend, just put it on the note and then take it off. You don't, you can, you could just take out the bend part. So just as easily as you could do. So let's stick with there. If you want to bend it up, fine, but let's just uh, do the simplified version right now. B. Open, pinky onto third fret B string, and then open again. So what basically, if I take away the chord form, this is what you, what you should be seeing. Okay, and then to the four, kind of the similar style. Um, Hit the low, um, low E string, third fret. Give it a little bend if you can, and then uh, dig into the open A again. So, hit that high note again, which is the um, third fret E string, and you kind of. You're gonna hit that a bunch of times. So. So this is how we're finishing it. This is how we're gonna finish it up. So that again, we're gonna bridge it back from the four to the one with that same lick that we learned um, over the first verse. Although I should play it exactly, you know, how I did last time, because obviously you're trying to learn it. Um, so it's not helpful for me to play it differently every time. So let me try to do it the same way. Okay, and then again, once that what, uh, that bridge uh, bridge phrase again is. And remember that on that. Um, we're hitting three strings. We're hitting the low A, middle finger on the B string, and then ring finger on the high E, and hammering on from the third fret B string to the fifth fret B string. But I'm hitting all three, all three strings at the same time. Two hammer-ons, back to third to three, and then sliding down. We're using my middle finger on the uh, G string from four to two, and then open. And then ending it with the second fret on the D string. And for good measure, low E. So we should have the whole song here now. I'm gonna do the, the five, four, one one more time, and then we're gonna play the whole thing together. So, one, two, and then the phrase. There we go. One more time. One, two, and then the phrase. Cool, one more time. Finish with the intro again.
Okay, the whole thing, and I'm going to sing it again just so we know where all these parts are fitting within the song. We are just like a bird without a feather hung. You know I'm lost without your love. Well, just like a bird without a feather, huh? You know I'm lost without your love. You know I need your love. Five. Just like the angels needing heaven above. And we end with what we call a turnaround. If it's the end of the song, that is. And we're going to try, um, I like this one. So, okay, this ending turnaround, you're going to use your middle finger and your ring finger. These two here, middle finger, ring finger. Middle finger is going to go on the fourth fret of the low E string. And then your ring finger is going to, sorry, your ring finger is going to go on the fourth fret of the uh, G string. And you're going to pluck these two together and then the high E open. So these two notes that we got, again, fourth fret, both fourth fret, one on the uh, low E and then one on the G string, both on fourth fret. Pluck those together, high E, and then we're going to walk that down. Ready? And then E7 chord. One more time. I mean, you could do it just once, or you could do. Listen, I hope this uh, video was instructive. Um, if not, you know, let me know in the comment section how I can improve these. Because I do want to do um, helpful content like this. It's just, um, you know, at the time, I didn't really know where to start. I haven't done uh, video lessons before, and I hope it was helpful. Like I said, if there's any, um, any area that I missed or anything that I could have, uh, you know, if there's anything that I could have put extra attention uh, towards, let me know. And as well as uh, any other way that you think I could improve um, doing kind of lesson content on, on YouTube here. But anyway, I'll leave it at that. And I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making it. And um, I hope to do more stuff like this in the future. So thanks for watching and uh, have a great day.